day eight, October 14th. For this afternoon's hunt, we're going back to that blind on that little standing corn plot that we hunted maybe three or four days ago. And I didn't shoot any does that day because we couldn't get the four wheeler in there because it was so muddy and it hasn't rained since, so it's dried out quite a bit. So we're gonna drive the four wheeler back, park it on the edge of the Milo, and then uh, walk the Milo the rest of the way into the blind. That way, if I am able to get a doe or two, it'll be really quick and, and simple to grab that four wheeler and uh, go scoop them up. So it's, it's a little bit warm probably today, but it's really, really comfortable. I mean, it's a beautiful day. Uh, I'd, I'd say you can do about anything outdoors today and have a, a really nice time doing it. Low 60s, light breeze out of the south, and uh, you know, it just feels good to be out. Uh, I think that's what I like about October the most is the weather is just so beautiful. So we're going to ride the four-wheeler back and uh, see what comes out into that plot. We know there were some does there last time. It's just a question of you know, whether we might find a, a surprise buck that would pop out into that little small plot. They could come from any direction because like I said last time, there's not hardly any corn. There is no corn within almost a mile of that spot. So if the deer wants corn, uh, that's probably where he's coming. Real Trees Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cuddyback, Drake Non Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, and Real Tree. Got about 30 minutes left, and uh, it's been pretty slow until right up to about the last 15 minutes. And I've got a doe coming in. She's really spooky. She came in once, and I I tried to to uh, press things just a little too much. I tried to stand up and shoot sideways out the front window with Drake filming out the corner, and. Uh, she must have heard me moving around, but I think it, she's coming back again now. She's about 20 yards away or a little bit less. Now she's walking away, dang it. Um, oh, there's more box, more box, that's why. So there's two bucks out there now, and the new one that came in is a younger one. That, I think the first one was like a, probably a two-year-old, I'm hoping. Hopefully he's not a three-year-old, but um, 
this other buck ran my doe off. So while I was in the process of doing my interview, this buck came up and ran off the doe that I was hoping to shoot. But we still have 20 minutes left probably, and uh, there's some chance that that doe will come back. She definitely wants to be here. We will keep you posted. At least we got a little bit of action. Like I said, it's been pretty slow up until now. Anything that comes out between now and the end, we're going to bring it to you right here on the blog. Otherwise, uh, if something really interesting happens, we'll, I'll break back in. Otherwise, we'll just show you the action as we roll out of the, out of the video blog here. Uh, I appreciate you joining me, and, and I'm not sure 100% yet if I'm going to hunt tomorrow evening. We'll have to play it by ear. And uh, But just keep checking back. Bunch right there. And more. There's a bunch. 